Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle and if you are new here, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. Also click that bell so you never miss my post a video. Today I'm going to show you guys how I have winterized my hair routine. Basically, it's getting cold as hell outside. It's snowing and it's like October 21st so winter is coming. I feel like, the, what is that show, Game of Thrones, Winter is Coming? I don't even watch that show but I know that because I've seen it everywhere. But back on topic, basically I'm going to show you guys everything from the pre-poo to the shampoo to the con deep condition, condition, styling, all that good stuff. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. So this is an old wash and go. And we're just going to um, start off with half the hair. And my hair is um, dry. So now we're going to separate this part in half as well. I usually do four. Ow! Now that we got that hard part out the way, we're going to start with this bottom back section right here. And I have aloe vera juice. Either I use water or aloe vera juice, but the more um, moisturizing option is the aloe vera juice. And who lied to me and said that aloe vera juice was good, like tastes good, like tastes disgusting. Okay, so now that my hair is wet, I usually go in with the Texture by Cantu conditioner. I bought this and I tried it as like, you know, a shampoo conditioner, but I did not like it. Or it's not that I didn't like it, it wasn't anything like special. So I gave away the shampoo, but I always keep the conditioners for th times like this when I want to pre-poo. And this is for when my hair is like Sahara Desert Dry, which is my usual go-to. But I saw this on naturallycurly.com, the Tresemme um, Botanique botanique whatever nourish and replenish um pro collection conditioner with coconut milk and aloe vera and it said that you know it's hydrated conditioner so i want to give it a try actually i picked it up today and i've been looking on the lookout for it so i haven't used any trust made conditioners i don't think not since going natural at least Ooh, so it is kind of runny so it might have to slip i'm just gonna apply it directly to the hair oh this is amazing because my hair is not detangled at all And it smells good. Like it's like a very light scent, nothing too powerful. So, oh, that went right through my hair. As you can see, I like working on big sections, so I like conditions that are, have like good slips so that I can work it through easier without having to break it down. But I still think I might maybe have used too much in this section, but we shall see. And so after I have saturated my hair with the conditioner, I like to go in with two oils. One will always be the uh, a tea tree oil because it's kind of like resets my scalp. And right now I'm using the OGX Refreshing Scalp and Tea Tree Mint um, Scalp Treatment. And I just literally go in and put it directly on my scalp. Then I'll take my scalp massager and I'll massage it in, do a little scalp massage. And then I'll take a growth oil, which is either like something like this, the wild growth hair oil, or I'll take like Jamaican black castor oil. Anything that's good for um, like hair growth and anything like that. So take this and I actually apply this to the actual hair. And I focus it toward the ends because that's all the oldest part of the hair. So I'm all done with four sections of my hair. This is what I look like. And they're not even, so they don't have to be. Okay, and usually I'll pull clothes like in the bag and put like another bag on top to simulate like heat and stuff, but 
between that time for that today. So I'm gonna let this sit and I'm gonna do like some homework or something. And then I'm gonna pop in the shower. I am out of the shower and I did not um, bring you guys with me just because it's like simple rinsing. You know, shampooing. I did shampoo with the Pantene Gold Series Moisture Boost Shampoo. And this is my cleanser. It does have sulfates in them. And I actually use a sulfate shampoo um, more than I do in the summertime. In the wintertime, just because I'm using heavier creams, heavier butters, just heavier products, a lot more products. And so I definitely need to make sure that my scalp and my hair is clean. This is very gentle, very um, soft. Do not use a lot or else you will get that stripped feeling. And um, you don't really want that. If you use like just the right amount, it does lather up very nicely and it will not leave your hair with that stripped feeling but when I'm not using that I do go in with the Garnet Fruities Curl Nourish Shampoo this is sulfate free and it has the coconut hole but and macadamia oils in it and this is again really soft gentle it's basically to me the same thing just without the sulfates which is why I um, alternate between the two for my deep conditioning treatment I'm going to go in with a deep conditioner um, that does both moisture and protein I did use the Mile Organics um, Babasu mint one I didn't necessarily like it I felt like it did more protein than it did moisture and it's supposed to be a pro whoa supposed to be a protein moisture balance so now I do my own DIY I found out this works well for me I go in with the Jamaican mango and lime pure naturals coconut milk and honey honey moisture mask and then I go in with the originals hair mayonnaise this is like my OG protein treatment and so what I do is I take equal amounts of both and I will show you guys me doing that and I don't know why I'm a weirdo but I love the smell it just smells so good I have the protein treatment here and I have the moisture mask right here I'm just going to take like a big dollop put it in there and I have a lot of hair, so we gotta make sure that we're gonna cover both strands. This is how much I have. I think I'm gonna need a little, a little more, just a little bit. Then I'm gonna go in with the moisture mask. This is a lot more runny, so I'm just gonna kinda pick it up. Mm, need more. Okay, so that's what we're looking like, and I'm just gonna stir it up. After the um, water is done boiling, I'm just going to take the cup and set it inside the water. And it's in this little tea kettle thing. Shit, it's hot. So I have it out of the water and I did that just to heat it up so that I can pimp my hair better. So my hair is still soaking wet, but I like it to be like dripping. Oh. When applying products, the wetter your hair is, the better it'll go in. Now it's not funny. Anyway, so this is what we're working with. And like I said, this gives me the perfect combination of moisture and protein. And then just ugh, glides through. Again, make sure you're focusing on the ends. Those are the oldest parts of your hair. So now guys, I'm out of the shower. I just rinsed out that deep conditioner protein treatment combo. My hair feels soft, it feels moisturized like oh it just feels so healthy so now i'm just gonna part my hair i am styling my hair just into braids um what i do sometimes if i don't do twists i'll style my hair in two braids at night and i'll get up in the morning and do my do pt in two braids and then after that i'll take them down and do my hair in a bun for work so this part is done what i'm going to go through is my moisturizing um process for styling my hair into braids i have wet my hair again with aloe vera juice it was already wet from the shower but just you know um make sure that my hair is soaking i'm going to go in first with the do it for the culture main choice um leave-in conditioner and i just recently fell in love with this leave-in it is so amazing and it smells so good so i'll just go in massage it into my hair and this is just like that first leave-in conditioner. If I had to use an alternate, I would say the Garnier Fructis um, Curl Nourish leave-in. Then I like to go in with the um, TGIM Buttercream. Again, this stuff is so thick. <clears throat> Again. And this is what, what I'm talking about when I'm talking about using heavier creams, heavier butters. Well, Butters are usually heavier anyway. 
um, but just using this really sealing the moisture from the leave-in conditioner and this also offer the moisturizing element as well you don't want you to be too careful that you're not over moisturizing your hair so again this all depends on your climate here and for a drum the air gets really really cold really really dry so i'm going to need all the help plus when it gets cold outside part of the uniform is wearing a fleece cap now while sometimes i do put my silk scarf underneath sometimes i'm in a rush i forget it's not allowed whatever the case may be and so i do um wear the, the um fleece directly on my scalp and that material can definitely dry out your hair again make sure you're getting everything make sure you're getting the ends for your method if you feel like that really helps you that helps me then to seal all of that and go on with an oil i like to usually make a black castor oil moisture again i have really dry hair so i'm not too worried about over moisturizing my hair and also this helps with growth rub that in focus on the ends more and then go upward and this is just a jamaican mango and lime um oil but you can um use any um jamaican black cash oil or any oil again this is all about winterizing your hair care routine so using the heavier products jamaican black castor oil is a heavier oil very thick now for the braiding part So now that I'm done with this, it's a simple braid, nothing like fancy or anything. I'm just going to do the same side, same thing to this side. So now that I am done with both braids, just taking any excess and like putting it on the um, braids and the part, trying to slip away from my scalp just so it doesn't get itchy. And then I'm going to take this little brush that I actually got out of like my Shea, ba Shea Bassiter box, and it's kind of not do my edges, but kind of make them swoop but then still go back if that makes sense whenever i finish like my style especially now i use the coconut hibiscus holding shine moisture mist and it just gives it like a, like i said a nice shine then voila that is my current updated winter fall wash day routine i will do this again just using or doing a wash and go so you guys see how much healthier like and moisturized my curls look but because you know it is sunday time for the work week then i had to do what i usually do which is just two braids thank you guys for tuning into this video my camera is literally about to die so i'll make this short sweet and to the point like comment subscribe turn on the bell and i'll see you guys in the next video bye